Hi everyone, this is Jose Illanes again. Uh, you probably see me before, so uh, this time I'm gonna take you guys down to eastern Ecuador, a uh, high Andes to vast Amazon uh, virtual tour. Okay, so um, it's, it's gonna be pretty much taking you guys towards my home uh, village, I would say. Okay, so probably in this map I'm gonna try to show you guys uh, first of all where Ecuador is more or less in, in South America right so up in the north we have Colombia south and east will be Peru and then in the coast will be Pacific Ocean so as you probably know already by now uh, Ecuador is such a small country but has a lot of different um, bioregion I would say and um, a lot of diversity too so um, Ecuador has as I said different regions one of them is that I'm gonna show you guys right here is Galapagos the Pacific uh, Andes and Amazon region where pretty much we're gonna be in those 13 days trip um, birding pretty much okay so as I said Ecuador has just about um, over 1600 species of bird I would say so and beside the other things as well so um, in, in this particular map I'm gonna try to show you guys um, how we're gonna be running in those 13 days right so we're gonna pretty much start right here so Quimbo is close to the Quito airport so most of the flight will get into there and after that we'll start birding from there towards the Antisana National Park and then we have to go back again same way to get to Papiacta Pass which is the Kiambi Coca National Park and eventually uh, Guangas Lodge and then San Isidro Wakamais Ridge wild sumaca and then we'll go all this will be by car until coca and after the coca we'll go by motorized ball towards uh Nuff wildlife center and eventually sunny lodge where our trip will be ending pretty much so we have to go back again by boat and then take our flight back to Quito airport where we'll spend overnight there or simply you guys can catch your uh, late evening uh, flight back home okay so um so in this particular map i'm gonna quickly show you guys so if we started in Puembo, so we're gonna go all the way to uh antisana national park so we'll be pretty much birding from um uh, 11,000 feet elevation all the way up to uh, 12,000 feet so we go from dry temperate forest all the way to um, uh, dry paramo grassland okay so I would like to mention also you guys that um, in this particular uh, virtual tour I'm gonna I'm doing from my office which is the jungle so the background as you probably see here is the real forest any noise that you probably hear uh, here in this particular virtual tour they are natural any bird any sound that you can get it here will be natural sound okay so uh, one of the bird that we probably gonna be seeing uh, once we get uh, towards the Antisana National Park will be this lovely uh, tufted tit tyrant and one of our target species in this national park will be this uh, Andean condor which is our Ecuadorian national bird also and one of the largest wingspan species in the world too and beside the bird there will be a chance to get some um, landscape views to some mammals as well during this trip so one of them will be this uh, great uh, looking um, Antisana volcano and this um, 
black face ibis or Andean ibis that they call by now and one of the birds that you want, don't want to miss in this particular place is this uh, nice looking uh, crankulated caraca that can be seen a lot of them uh, sometimes along the road uh, Parama fox and also visiting this national park will be going also to get some water birds also when we visit uh, La Mica Lake so one of them will be this uh, cute looking um, uh, silver grebe and once we have done with this uh, national park we'll start heading back as will be lunch time where we can get one of the local restaurant um, where we can get some local uh, dishes also uh, like this one as we have here some potatoes and some chicken and some veggies and obviously they have some hummingbird feeders where we can get this uh, one of the largest hummingbird in the world which is called giant hummingbird and this crazy looking uh, black tail train better too so once we have done with this place we'll start heading towards the uh, Papayaka Pass so if we have time we'll be able to do some birding as well there so one of the stuff that we'll be seeing is this um, uh, good looking um, spectacle there and obviously this uh, red ram bush tyron um, Rufus belly seed snipe so in this particular place will be pretty much birding up in uh, 14,000 feet elevation more or less so going towards the lodge so stopping along the road in the polylapis forest we can get this um, cute looking uh, giant cornbill and eventually we'll be ending up uh, down in um, Guangos Lodge where they have beautiful accommodation and beside that they have good uh, stuff, good looking birds and then um, and obviously wonderful uh, meal as well will be finishing our day so our following day birding will be pretty much doing birding by the lodge ground and if we missing some of the bird we'll go back to the past or simply we'll do some birding at uh, Kayambe Koka National Park along that um, Termas Road as I call and then um, and after that we'll start going towards um, uh, San Isidro but one of the birds that we'll be start seeing is this um, turquoise jay white belly wood star by the feeders and this crazy looking uh, sorbill hummingbird too Turian metal tail gray breasted mountain toucan and sometimes we have a lot of those uh, uh, northern mountain cassette too just hanging out by the large ground and occasionally we have even chance to get this uh, mountain taper too and obviously this crazy looking or one of the largest mountain tanager we have which is called hooded mountain tanager Torin duck will be an exception to see along the Guangos river as well and our visit to um, Termas Road towards the um, Kayambe Coca National Park will be able to get this lovely uh, Agile tea tyrant, mask flower piercer, and beside the bird will be able to get from the top the uh, Cotopaxi volcano view as well. Um, Tony Anthera, and obviously, one of our target species from this particular place will be this rare uh, mask mountain tanager. So once we have done with this um, Kayambe Coca National Park and the uh, Guangos Lodge after lunch, we'll start driving towards uh, San Isidro as I'm going to show you guys in this map. So from Guangos Lodge here, we'll start driving towards uh, San Isidro, which 
might take us just about an hour. But in our way down there, we'll be able to see some waterfalls too. And obviously some lovely uh, landscapes. And so eventually, as I said, we'll arrive to Cabana San Isidro, one of the lovely uh, friendly lodge uh, in between the cloud forest and uh, temple forest too. So um, they have as any other lodges in, in Ecuador where we as a tropical birding we visit they have good accommodation and wonderful or delicious meal too. So uh, while spending the night over there we'll be able to get uh, some of the localized uh, mystery owl that likes to hang out close to the cabins or simply by the dining room which is called basically San, San Isidro mystery owl so and one of the birds that will be chasing early in the morning following day will be this uh, white, uh, white belly antpera and the same is with this chestnut crown antpera that the large staff is they kind of feeding, they trying to do the same thing as a uh, Mr. Pass in the uh, western side of Ecuador. And obviously these um, Inca Jay or Green Jay, however you guys want to call, likes to hang out and eat uh, early in the morning some of the moths that they attract in the uh, black light. And beside those uh, other birds, they do have it some uh, uh, hummingbird feeders where we'll be able to get uh, color inca, uh, long tail sylph, um, speckled hummingbird, uh, chestnut breasted coronet, bronze inca, and birding in the ground or along the road or by the trails will be a able to get this. Uh, Andean or Highland Matmat mask program in this case was the female and white cap tanager can be seen also they can be very loud you know sometimes I mean I don't know why they call a tanager they looks more like Jay but I mean so I can't fight with a scientist too so anyway um and then we'll be able to get this saffron crown tanager also, sometimes in the nice mixed feeding flock. And um, glossy uh, black thrush too. So once we have done with uh, San Isidro uh, Lodge or Cabana San Isidros, so we'll start going from here all the way to uh, uh, do some birding at Wacamayas Ridge and eventually do some birding along the road while we drive in towards um, wild sumac which is up here which we call in the, in the birding way uh, Loretto Road okay so one of the first or one of the bird that will be chasing at Wakamaya's Ridge will be this uh, nice looking uh, black mandible mountain toucan and this crazy looking um, um, greater sight bill gray and black fruit eater can be seen and even this is skulky uh, oscillated tap guru can be pretty much likes to visit to our playback too and then uh, slate crown antpera so while driving towards, uh, as I said, while Sumaco along the uh, Loreto Road, sometimes we have this roosting uh, blackish nightjar too along the road. And can be seen quite often, those friendly uh, cliff fly catchers too. And eventually we'll end it up, up in the uh, Wild Sumaco uh, Lodge, where people will be welcoming us with some of these beautiful uh, meals this is in this case we have the restaurant uh, picture 
and they also have nice uh, lookout to or porch where you guys can uh, pretty much enjoy the hummingbird feeders or simply the uh, view from there um, as I said the uh, hummingbird feeders will bring uh, a lot of things you know one of them will be this blue fronted uh, lance bill booted racket tail in this case we have this lovely male picture a golden tail sapphire and why not to say this cute looking um, wire crested thorn tail gold jewel front and most of the uh, most of the people would like to see this uh, cute looking uh, napo saber ring too gorgeous uh, wood star female and this is the male and the verbena flowers can attract also this um, violet headed hummingbird and beside the hummingbirds the ground can also hold for us stuff like this um, black street parkbird sometimes you see by the trails along the road or simply by the uh, uh, the blind that they have close to the lodge and as I said uh, colored trogon wouldn't be an exception to birding in the area uh, this female uh, line and shrike uh, olive back wood creeper I mean trying to get pictures for uh, wood creepers can be so difficult and obviously we will be able to see a uh, coppery chested jacama also either along the road or near the lodge too and red headed barbet black mandible toucan or yellow throated toucan as they call now uh, those arboreal uh, yellow breasted antlern and also they do have it um, feeding station where they have this uh, skulky uh, 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 playing back antler and beside the uh, birds we have lovely looking uh, creatures also like this uh, Cipoeta stenos uh, butterfly and also this um, feeding station can hold for us this um, ochre breasted ant and this crazy looking uh, katy did that sometimes can be uh, seen along the grassland or they come to you sometimes in your uh, pants and obviously if we have chance we can always be able to photograph this nice looking um, uh, Sumaco volcano which is not active for now and obviously from there we can be able to see the Antisana volcano also so this is the uh, different view from the different angle as well so in this particular map once we have done with wild sumaco i want to show you guys uh what we'll be doing our following day so we'll be going by car all the way to coca and eventually by motorized boat that uh napo people will be waiting for us to get all the way down to uh, napo wildlife center so once we arrive in coca town or coca city where actually is the town where I went to the school so it's nice to get back and see my friends and and obviously uh, you can't forget about birds you know so pretty much what is where everything uh, begins so as I said Napo Wildlife Center people will take us from here by motorized boat all the way down to the lodge so while traveling along the river we probably not see a lot of birds but uh, quite a few of them as you probably see Napo River is one of the largest uh, tributary for Amazon River so to get the uh, river edge can be so far and sometimes as the boat is going so fast so it will be difficult to see some of these birds so by the way in this picture we have 
pretty much some of the uh, river islands that we can see while traveling uh, down river. And as I said, we probably gonna see a lot of birds, but one of the birds that we're probably going to be able to see is this cocoa heron, sometimes standing up along the beach, or simply just uh, hanging out on the trees. Uh, Amazon kingfisher. And beside the bird, we can be able to see uh, a yellow-footed uh, turtle also, just along the uh, river edge. And eventually we'll arrive to uh, Nap Wildlife Center Dock where we can actually uh, leave the uh, motorized boat to take the uh, paddling boat or dugout canoe. So as you probably see in this picture, uh, we're just uh, traveling very comfortable uh, as while well, the other people are uh, pretty much paddling. So. So in this case, we're traveling along the uh, uh, Anyango Creek. And one of the birds that we, while uh, traveling towards the lodge, we can be able to see is this orange uh, crown mannequin that likes to hang out along the creek or along the Barsa forest. And boat bill uh, heron pretty much sleeping along the uh, uh, creek side I would say and beside the birds we'll be able to see some monkeys also one of them will be this uh, crazy uh, common squirrel monkey just hanging out just above our head and obviously this um, green and rufous kingfisher and eventually getting close to the uh, lake we'll be able to see this crazy looking um, uh, hoatzin which is uh, one of the closest prehistoric bird that we can see while traveling in the Amazon that everyone would like to see it which can be they are also I would say vegetarians and eventually we'll arrive to uh, Anyango Lake, where the lodge is located, at, as you probably see in this uh, particular picture. So, once we have done or arrived at the lodge, after drink or have some uh, uh, juice or some welcome juice or welcome drink, we can set up our stuff and this some birding from the top of this um, uh, tower I would say right here as you probably see so it's just about um, 150 feet tall uh, building where you can be able to see uh, long distance also where uh, some of these uh, birds can be seen while flying uh, e even early in the morning or late in the afternoon or late in the evening I would say so as you probably see in this particular picture you can see the view you basically can see the uh, Barsa forest and the terra firma from here so this is the picture from the top of the uh, tower uh, so meal in this um, particular lodge in this particular fancy lodge can be so delicious they have a lot of great things to, to have so, uh, pretty much in this uh, lodge will be birding in the area only. So, one of them will be visiting uh, the tower, the canopy tower, which is built up in the um, kapak tree. So, one of them, one of the birds while traveling there can be seen is this uh, colored um, park bird. And from the tower itself can bring us the um, gilded barbet, purple-throated fruit crow, ivory bill arasari, letter arasari also, and I mean 
all these birds can live in the canopy tower which can be difficult to see from the ground one of them will be this yellow brow toady flycatcher if you trying to see this little bird from the ground will be impossible but as they have some canopy towers can be able to see from there and then obviously this uh, white throated toucan and up in the tower can be seeing those uh, white neck blackbird too white fronted uh, numbered brown nunglet can be seen pretty much uh, after the tower so once you have done with the uh, canopy tower so going back to the lodge for lunch there'll be always chance to get this uh, little brown bird that can be hardly seen if you're not looking in the right places you know and obviously this uh, colorful and crazy dancing uh, wire tail mannequin and late in the afternoon will be pretty much after the launch do some uh, uh, paddling or canoeing birding where we can be able to see stuff like this um, pygmy antron uh, slender bill kite rufus and tiger heron and also uh, most of the time either from the lake or along the creek you will be able to see this giant otter as well and sometimes we have while birding this uh, crazy looking green anaconda just resting on the uh, dry logs or along the branch and we'll be ending up one of the evening trying for this um, rare an isolated species which is called zigzag heron and our following day birding will be pretty much um, due along the terra firma which is unfloated uh, forest actually so where we can be able to get uh, underground species like this uh, plain throated ant run and hairy crested ant bird which can be sometimes or most of the time hard to uh, photograph them but I mean occasionally we do and same as with this uh, sooty ant bird um, sometimes when we come across along the trail some uh, bars here spot or a uh, spot with um, little creeks we need to get through the water also as you probably see in this picture which is kind of an adventure I would say and then we'll be able to get uh, stuff like this uh, hornet, I would say Amazon hornet frog, cool looking little creature. Amazon dragon um, lizard and gray wing trumpeter and one of the uh, birds that we'll be looking in this particular Hike will be this uh, black neck red cotinga that likes to actually go in the um, uh, lacking spot. Same as with this um, ash throated nut eater, yellow bill jacamar, and occasionally we even see in our way back this uh, day roosting uh, tawny belly squid owl. And obviously, it wouldn't be uh, successful if you don't see the uh, golden mantle tamarind monkey, which is the logo species for the Napa Wildlife Center, which can be seen quite often in our trips. So in this particular map, I want to show you guys what we'll be doing once we have done with Napa Wildlife Center. So as you probably see here, if we in here, at Nap Wildlife Center, so we go back again uh, by Dugout Canoe to get down to Napu River and do our clay lake birding, which is just right here in this particular area, and then we go back down to uh, Sunny Lodge. So, as 
in our last morning we'll start early where we can be able to get some of the uh, roosting or early roosting uh, birds like this uh, sand grip that likes to hang out along the creek and obviously as we're gonna visit the clay lake so one of the uh, riverbank clay lake can hold stuff like this uh, a mealy parrot and same as uh, yellow crown and some other two species more that we can visualize in this uh, picture. And while going to our second uh, clay lake inside the forest, just short walk actually from the river, we'll be chasing for stuff like this Peruvian warbling ant bird. And same as with this yellow browed ant bird. And our second clay lake, as I said, which is inside the forest, can uh, hold for us stuff like this um, uh, cobalt wind parakeet, hundred, hundred of them sometimes. And same as with this orange wind parrots, also can visit this place. And obviously, this uh, beautiful scarlet macaws. And on our way back along the trail, we can always encounter stuff like this uh, black tail turban, in this case female, and mammals like this um, dusky titi monkey, cute looking little mammal, and in the mass of our forest uh, trail hike we can encounter it or we find uh, morpho or blue morpho flying around. So once we have done with the clay lake, so our next spot will be in the community where I was born, which is called uh, Sunny Isla Community. So visiting the village, uh, sometimes our local guide from there can uh, have roosting, they roosting a uh, crested owl, in this case the adult. And this is the juvenile. And while birding uh, along the community, there will be a chance to get stuff like this white ear jackamore too and obviously one of the smallest monkey in the world which is the um, pygmy marmoset can be seen also and beside uh, beside birding in the community just before to get the sunny uh, lodge we can also do some um, a river island birding also as you probably see here we're waiting for uh, Amazonian umbrella bird same as in here, you know, there's always uh, an experience, different kind of birding. And obviously, river island birding can hold for us stuff like this black and white ant bird, uh, rufous headed woodpecker, yellow headed cara cara, likes to hang out along the sandbar, along the beach, I would say. And eventually, we'll get to uh, sunny Lodge Port, where well, we have here our friend Sam taking picture with Trudy, one of the local guides, one of my cousins, I would say. So, and then later on, we'll get down to the lodge, as you probably see, it's another lodge located at a um, Chalua Cocha, which is small mud fish lake. So, most of the Amazonian lodges are built close to the lake. So, obviously, we'll be welcome it with some tasty dinner. And as you probably see in this particular uh, dinner time, you have little uh, local dish as we have in this particular place. It's called Chontakura that uh, sometimes they can provide us, which grows inside the uh, Moriji palm trees. So as I said, most of the lodges that we visit, they have always uh, very delicious food and great accommodation too, obviously. And our following day birding will be pretty much visiting the canopy tower, which is built uh, above the um, uh, Saiba tree, up to uh, 150 feet tall trees. So where we will be chasing for some of this canopy stuff, you know, like in other places that we visited at Nap Wildlife Center. Okay, so uh, one of the birds that 
we'll be seeing once we get there is the uh, daily roosting uh, great kotu that likes to hang out just right above our head. Same as with this bare neck root crow. And we'll be able to get those uh, black headed parrots also likes to hang out uh, in one of these close by trees. Cream color woodpecker. And obviously the mighty um, Amazonian powerful bird, I would say, which is called the uh, harpy eagle that can be quite often seen from the canopy tower from Sunny Lodge. Um, lemon throated barbet. Many banded arasaurus that likes to hang out sometimes in our tree. In this case, we have opal crown tanager, which looks like same as his cousin opal rum tanager. But if you see, they don't have nothing in their forehead, so it's the way how you can differentiate between those two species. And rufous belly euphonia also. Pied puffbird. And obviously, in the distance, we can even have this uh, red holler monkey just. Uh, waiting for sunshine to get warm before going for to get some fruits in the forest and a little close-up view of this um, red holler monkey turquoise tanager paradise tanager also one of my favorite species can be seen from the tower and yellow bill number two and obviously this beautiful looking um, white brow purple which is type of Katinga. And same as with this iridescent uh, blue uh, color uh, spangled Katinga too can be seen from the canopy tower. And once we have done with canopy tower, we'll do some creek side birding also. I mean by the canoe or dugout canoe. Which will, one of the birds that will be able to see is the black cup Danacrobius, which makes very funky call. Uh, American Pygmy Kingfisher, Cinnamon Attila, Chestnut Woodpecker, and one of the special birds from the lodge will be this um, Kocha Ant Shrike. In this case, we have a picture of a female, and the male is pretty much all dark. I mean, still. Um, special bird. One of the only places where you can be able to see is at Sunny Lodge. Dot back ant bird. Um, this lizard iguanas can be seen sometimes just lying down on the branches along the creek. White chin jacamar. Uh, beside the bird there will be a chance to get uh, stuff like this white fronted cup June 2. White shoulder ant bird. And another special bird from the area will be this yellow crown uh, Elenia also. And uh, there will be also chance to get the day roosting um, common potu also. I mean, you not always see the eyeballs in this case we do. Yellow bill turn can be seen by the lake. And obviously this uh, fringed uh, leaf frog. And this um, uh, falls tree frogs can be seen in our night hikes also only if you want to do it. And there will be always funny or enjoyable to do some um, canoeing or paddling as we have in this picture. And our trail hike burden will bring us this black face ant bird 2, golden headed mannequin, great jacamo also, and this Citarias aurorina who likes to hang out most of the time along the trail. And as I said, sometimes you run out of the water so there will be always chance to get some water out of the vines. As you probably see, I'm taking it straight from the vine inside the forest. And obviously there will be chance to get stuff like this night monkeys just sleep in the tree holes.
Uh, poison arrow frogs also can be seen along the trail that a lot of people would like to see it. And this golden color uh, toucanet. And the lodge itself has some uh, food feeding station also where we can be able to get this mask uh, tanager or mask crimson tanager and scarlet crown barbet and sometimes near the lodge they have a roosting tropical screech owl and obviously lodge ground can hold for us some stuff like this green back trogon and yellow tufted woodpeckers and some butterflies like this uh, Catonephila oritis and the heliconia butterflies also in those uh, local flowers and obviously these black fronted numbers like to hang out close by the uh, cabins so that'll be it pretty much about the lodge itself so so as I said sunny community itself is where I was born and it will be sad to leave my friends or my old relatives from here so that will be pretty much what we have done with this uh, Eastern Ecuador trip so we'll start heading back following day from sunny lodge all the way back to Coca by Daga I mean motor rice boat and eventually fly back to Quito and spend the night in Quambo Hotel near the airport and then you guys can have late evening flight or just fly in the next day so that's it pretty much so thanks a lot for watching this virtual tour I did my best to show you guys what is uh, our Eastern Ecuador trip looks like in this virtual tour so thanks and I hope to travel with you guys someday in the future in any other destination that tropical birding has. Thank you. Bye-bye.